Okay, so we have right side section, I will explain the part and the name from this side first. First we have, skeleton stock, pistol grip, selective fire lever, dust cover, 30 round magazine, and iron sight with POV looking, carrying handle, and don't forget the cocking handle with beer keg style, receiver lock screw. Last, we have magazine housing. Yes, actually, the left side doesn't have a big difference, so I don't need to explain the parts because it's the same as the right side. Okay, now we have arrived to the gas system. So this gas gun system is based on gas operated reloading. So what is gas operated reloading? So in short, it is gas operation is an operating system used to provide energy to operate a lock breech firearm. In gas operation, some of the higher pressure gas from the fired cartridge is used to power the mechanism for ejecting the spent housing and introducing a new cartridge into the chamber. More precisely, this rifle uses a variant of the long stroke gas system. For example, we shot this rifle. Yes, you see the red color. Imagine this is the gas from the combustion of the bullet which pushes the projectile out of the barrel at the moment when in the middle of firing this gas will enter a point which is called the gas port hole and pushing the piston back to reload the cartridges and they do so until the cartridges run out. Here are weapons that use a similar gas system method. 1. M60 2. FN Mac 3. M1 Garand 4. AK-47 and its derivatives, and much more. Okay, now we get to the part of how the weapon works. Here I explain and draw briefly only. First of all, let's introduce the parts first. First, we start from the pistol grip, trigger house, bolt carrier and pin inside, piston, barrel, magazine, and carrier spring. Folding stock button. So how it works is when the trigger is pulled and pulled the sear down together. The hammer had nothing to block it so it was practically free to move forward. When the hammer has fired the bullet and is pushed by the bolt backwards it will be held back by the trigger spring to original position. Okay, now we go deeper into the trigger housing section. First of all, Let's introduce the part. We have firing pin, hammer, trigger spring, trigger. And last, we have the sear. Finally, we come to the last part here. I will explain how to fold the stock. First, we push the folding stock button to the forward. After that, turn to the left and push it down like this. 